Hello all, in this session we'll be taking a look at uh, some of the DDL commands in SQL. So we'll be creating a table, we'll be inserting some records into the table. We'll also see how to change the structure of the table. For instance, how to drop columns, how to add columns, how to change the data type for a column. So we'll be taking up some basic uh, DDL commands. So I'm going to use Oracle 11G Express Edition for this demo. I've already put up a video on how to install Oracle 11G Express Edition. So if you want to use the software, please uh, refer to my video. So now let us take a look at how to create a table. Uh, let me create an employee table, create table, table name we have to give employee and then we have to give all the uh, columns for your table or we can say these are the attributes for the employee. So we can have uh, employee ID, I call that uh, to be of type number, name to be of type where care uh, to 10 and uh, address we'll have for the employee that is uh, where care 2 of uh, 10 and uh, we'll also have some phone number for the employee again it's a string so we'll say it's worker to 10. so you close the parenthesis the semicolon the table is created suppose you want to view the uh, table you can describe the table say describe employee so you'll be able to see the table that you have created so you have created a table what next uh, you can very well change the structure of the table you can alter the structure of the table all these commands used for creating the table, altering the structure of the table, we call that as DDL commands or DDL commands. What do you mean by DDL command? Data definition language commands. So let's see how to add another column to this employee table. This is existing, right? How to add another column? Say I want to add the gender column here. For this, we have to use the alter table commands. Alter table employee add whatever column name you're going to add its gender. And then the data type for the column say let's say it's where 2 of uh, 10. So you have added this column now you can very well take a look at the employee table again to check whether the column has been added. So you can see gender uh, has been added. So like that you can also drop a column say if I am not interested in this gender column I want to drop this column how I can drop that. Again you have to go with this alter table command alter table table name is employee drop column the keyword what is the column name gender so that table is altered you can very well uh, look at it describe employee so now you see we have dropped that column say if i want to change the uh, data type of id from number to a uh, where care how i can perform that so you can also change the data type for a specific column so for that what we have to do is we have to use alter table table name is employee and we have to use modify whatever a column we are modifying give that column and then we give the data type where cat 2 of 10. so table is altered let's uh, again view the table so describe employee so you can see now we have changed the data type for id to where cat 2 of 10. so you can also change the data type we can add a column we can remove a column not only that, we can also rename a column. Say if I want to rename ID to employee ID, I want to rename ID to employee ID. So this is what I'm going to perform. How to perform this? Uh, again, we have to go with alter table commands. Alter table employee. Rename is the keyword. Rename column. Uh, which column we are renaming? ID to, we'll say it's employee ID. So now the table is altered. Let's uh, have a description of that uh, table. So you see here, we have renamed the column to. So what all things we have uh, seen with respect to alter table commands, adding a column we have seen, and then removing a column we have seen, and uh, we have seen changing the data type uh, uh, for a column. Also we have seen renaming a column. So, so many things we can perform with uh, DDL commands. So let's uh, take a look at one more uh, command. For instance, I am not interested in this table. I want to drop this table. Say drop the table. Say when you're dropping the table, you're dropping the table along with the data inserted in the table. So you have to be a little cautious when you're dropping the table. If you're dropping a column too, you're dropping the data that is part of the column. So when you use drop commands, please be uh, cautious. You take a look at the data, whether you need the data or not, and then you drop. Say for instance, if I want to drop this table, I can go with drop table. Table name is employee. 
the table dropped if i want to view this table again i'll not be able to see because the object or employee doesn't exist so i hope you are able to follow uh, these basic commands how to create table how to alter tables and uh, how to uh, drop an table so now let's again create this table let's uh, have a look at uh, just creating this table again let me describe this table Let's take a look at uh, inserting records uh, into this table. So for insert, uh, insert actually comes in DML commands. It comes under DML. DML means data manipulation language commands. So what do you mean by data manipulation language? You are just using these commands to manipulate the data within the uh, table. So let's uh, use an insert statement. Insert statement is used for inserting data into the table. So insert into table name and then values is the keyword. Say we have to insert that in the same order say first time having id so i'll insert id say 111 is the employee id if it's of type number just don't give it in quotes if it is a name it is where care 2 of 10 what you have to do we have to give it in quotes say i give my name satish and uh, address uh, say again it's where care so give it in quotes velour and phone number is again string or then uh, sequence of characters so you give it in quotes and then you give the phone number say i'll give some phone number here for test purposes so we have inserted an employee record into our table so how to view this record we have to use a select statement select star from employee will select all the records from the employee table so we have inserted our record like that you can insert as many records you want in your table if i uh, want to insert another record what i can do just uh, go back change the data 112 you can give some values here ram and uh, velur you can say ram is from chennai and some phone number will just modify something will enter and uh, if you want to view the data again select star from employee that's it so we have seen how to insert records into a table the next thing we will look at is uh, say if i'm interested in inserting only a few of the columns say i i don't have the address for an employee i just want to insert id name and phone number how to skip inserting address for that again we'll go with insert insert into we'll uh, use the table name and then here you have to specify the columns which uh, wherein you're going to insert the values so i'm going to insert id i'm going to insert name and then i'm going to insert phone number and then you follow that with the keyword values now you give the values in the same order so id is 113 uh, and then next i'm going to give the name say name i'll call that to be tom and uh, now we are not going to insert address we have to insert only phone number so phone number here is a 777 seven, seven. so it's again a string so let's give it in quotes 777 seven, seven, something like that and a semicolon so now we have inserted only id name and phone for tom Let's take a look at this uh, select star from employee so you're going to see for this record alone this address is null whereas the other values we were able to insert so i was telling you right you can drop a column and uh, when you're dropping a column the data will also be dropped along with the column so that is uh, very important you want to check the data and then you have to drop the column there's uh, one more thing uh, if i want to change the data type say if i want to now change the data type of id from a number type to where care now i have inserted the data i have some number data here i want to change the data type of id from a number to where care will i be able to perform that so let's uh, just describe the table again employee so you can see id is of type number and id has got some values in it that is of type number now i want to change the data type of id from number to where care so what command i have to use alter table table name employee and then i have to use modify what column i'm modifying id column i'm just modifying it as where care 2 of 10 from number i'm changing it to where care now this is the error you get because now you have data pertaining to number inside this id column and you want to change it to another data type you will not be able to change it you'll be getting this error column to be modified must be empty to change data type 
so what you have to do is you have to update all the records here to uh, null so that you can modify the data type say let me just uh, update update employee set what column you're going to set set id is equal to say i want to set id is equal to null I'll just update everything to be null here. So select staff from employee. Everything is updated as null. Now let me uh, modify, say, let's take a look at this. So you will still have ID to be of type number, but you don't have any data. We have removed that. Now let me alter, change number to where cap. So it is uh, alter table employee. And then modify ID. I now modifying it to varchar two of ten. And uh, you can see now the table is altered. So this is a very important step. Uh, students make mistakes in this step. So if you have some data inside the column and you want to modify the data type for the column, you have to see to that the column is empty, or else uh, you'll get some kind of errors like this column to be modified must be empty to change data type. So this is one of the important uh, considerations when you're working with uh, modifying the data type for a column. So I hope you are able to follow this quick tutorial on some of the basic DDL commands. You should be very comfortable in creating a table, altering the table structure by adding columns, removing columns, renaming a column, altering the data type for a column. And also we have seen some basic DML commands in this uh, session too, like inserting some uh, records into a table and also selecting some records. And we have seen how we update an, uh, a record. So we'll also take a more in-depth look at uh, DML commands in the later on sessions. Thank you for listening.